the next thing to do is actually start our data templating and I'm gonna refer to the uh, code that I created the static HTML I created uh, when I was just coming up with this project and essentially all this content that I have in here at least all these um, HTML tags and is gonna be what I am gonna have to put into my code inside of here the data templating now the actual values inside here are uh, is going to be dynamic content so I'm going to be getting those things by referencing uh, the appropriate uh, properties from the data element over here so it seems like the very first thing I should do is start with my I guess my parent container for all my search results which is an article element with a class of FB results so here's what I'm going to do to actually create this on the fly every time something's uh, made. Let me go to my JS code and uh, well the first order of business is to actually create that element and jQuery allows you to create the elements by just declaring things that like targeting things so to say that don't exist so uh, I'm just gonna well, let's see let me go back and I'm gonna copy this article HTML tag over here intro tag and uh, with the jQuery selector dollar sign and the and the brace and then a single quote I'm gonna put that in there and then I also want to terminate it too because the idea is that we're gonna be appending stuff uh, inside of this guy so it's gonna wedge it right inside and then I'll do dot append append here we go and then instead of even doing anything else I'm gonna go all the way down and then terminate that as well and what I want to happen is append eh, append to and I'm going to target the body that may need to change depending on where this implementation is going to happen but uh, it's going to work for now because we're just going to append it to the body of this if, if we were to be given this code to somebody else to implement in a larger project say that the results were just going to happen in a sidebar or something uh, we could change that append to you know I don't know if it was the sidebar class or ID we target that specifically but um, okay uh, just to be clear what we've done so far now we're saying for each one of the results that we get from our feed which is going to happen to be each one of these guys over here this data you see we have we have it here we have another iteration of it here and so on and so forth um, what we're going to do is first we're going to create a new article element with a class FB results we're just creating the whole thing over there we're declaring it and, and terminating it um, but what we're gonna do after that is append basically wedge in the middle of this all this stuff that we're gonna need to populate those fields which is gonna ultimately be what we use the other inside of this stuff for okay um, and then we're going to after we do all of that business we're gonna append that stuff to the body 